Okay, Photoshop design tip number one. Draw big, shrink small. A client comes up to me and says, hey, can you design me a business card? I'm like, sure, no problem. I can have one of my students do it. I can do it. It doesn't really matter. Business card size. And he says, well, I just want my name here. All right, that's cool. I could do that, no problem. Uh, but I'm not going to design, I'm not going to go into Photoshop and go new. Okay, well, let's say I make a document that's 3.5 by 2. And resolution in terms, sure, 300 dots per inch, because everybody knows 300 dots per inch is printable. And if I go designing in here, yada, 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 okay? I'm not going to do that, because I know what, uh, ratios are and I know exactly what resolution is so I'm going to show you kind of a, a better way to do this where you're not designing to the product size and designing even bigger past the product size because here I know how to use ratios and I want to use natural inches okay so I'm going to take 3.5 for example and I'm going to times it by 20 and then I'm going to take 2 and times it by 20, or 20 times 2, that's going to be 40, and this one's a little different, uh, calculator for a second, seventy. So if I make a document that's 70 by 40, it's the same as making a document that's three and a half by two because you forget we live in a digital world now. Size is irrelevant as long as we stay in ratios, it's good to go. So I'm going to make a business card that's relatively 20 times the size of a business card. Okay, and that's new document uh, 70 by 40. What about resolution? Well, resolution, not as important as everybody thinks. I'm going to lower the resolution down by 72. This is going to increase my speed on my machine quite a bit because I'm not timing it by a, a percentage of 300 or you know making 300 dots per inch. This is just essentially almost the same, if not better. Uh, so 72, if you don't know, 72 is an actual inch. There's 72 natural pixels in one inch. So I'm staying true, 70 by 40, and then there's 72 pixels per inch of 70. And that's what I get if I make a new document and I start scribbling it. The point is, here is that document. Here's that card that they wanted me to design. And if I go file print, I'm going to get this. Oh, man, look at that. The W is almost as big as a piece of paper. But have no fear because it's in within ratios. And if I just type in the height of 2, I get 3.5 here. And just to prove the point that it is actually good to design it, I got InDesign here. Um, and I will make a new box, click and drag it out. And for my height, I'm going to make it 2. And for my width, 3.5. And there in InDesign, I can just go File, Place. And here's my card that I saved on my desktop and see how big it is until I hit this button right here and then it fits quite nicely. InDesign is used to print, Photoshop is used to design because how else would I do this in Photoshop very quickly which I will be covering in my InDesign crash course. So I can quickly just fill out this entire sheet of paper with business cards and just like that just to prove that InDesign is so so much better for actually the layout of things. Alright, so that's design tip one. Draw big, shrink small.